Today I want to talk to you guys about chunking things, okay? So I talked to you about batching stuff before and you know, uh, things like that. But today I want to talk to you more about uh, like doing little things on a daily basis, whether it be spread throughout the day, whether it be in one big batch, whatever it's gonna to do, to be able to just make things easier, right? So for me, every day I have uh, two stories that I record and two reels that I record. Now my reels are just like, you know, real simple talking ones. They're not these fucking dance, dance bullshit stuff. It's just like me talking to the camera or me doing a lifting one, all right? This is realistic for me to do because two stories takes me like five minutes. Two reels takes me like another 10 minutes. It's, let's say, uh, 20 minutes out of my day to get that done. Simple, I do it every day. Versus me being like, I'm gonna record 10 videos today and also record a podcast and do all this other stuff. It's too unrealistic. So what we do when we look at chunking things down in a day or spreading stuff out or again doing something every day, it makes it a lot easier. So for you, let's say for example, you want to get to 8,000 steps a day. Well, doing one 80 minute walk for one day, because like, a, a thousand steps is 10 minutes, right? So 80 minutes of walking is uh, 8,000 steps. That's fucking effort, man. I don't know anyone, I mean I could go for an 80 minute walk, but who's got the time to go for one big 80 minute walk? So instead, chunk it down. Can you do eight 10 minute walks a day? Can you do 10 eight minute walks a day? Can you do four 16 minute walks a day? Can you do, um, or you wanna do 16 four minute walks a day? Can you do like 25 minute walks a day? You know, spread it like, can you do a walk after lunch and before lunch? Can you do a walk before dinner and after dinner and before breakfast and after breakfast? That's six five minute or 10 minute walks. Boom, that's six other steps right there. Can you park further away? You know, so we look at steps here. This is just an example. Can you do that? You know, little ways to chunk things in make things a lot easier. Let's say for you, uh, if you're like me, you want to study every day. Well, am I going to study for an hour every day and sit down? No, because that's fucking mental energy, man. And for me, sitting down for an hour, paying attention, that's hard. Can I do two half an hour sessions spread out throughout the day? Yes. That's for me, you know. For you, can you do uh, three 20 minute sessions a day? if you wanted to start if let's say, whatever it's gonna be. But if you can break things up, it actually becomes easier, you know? Then if things do, like if things become easier and you can start to do longer periods of stuff, then fantastic. But if you can think about breaking things up into little chunks, it makes it more manageable for you to do and you're more likely able to stick to it. When you're more likely able to stick to it, you can then prolong things for longer. Okay, like I just said. So like for me, I'm like, oh man, like I was really struggling with studying and basically not being distracted when studying, especially with ADHD, it's quite hard. So I started with uh, a 10 minute session of reading a physical book without stopping or getting distracted on something. Sweet. Took me a month, <laughs> took me a month before I decided to increase it to 15 minutes, all right? Meditation, I do 15 minutes of meditation every day. It's a realistic goal. It's not a long period of time. It takes, you know, that's it. When I'm on a plane, I actually get myself to meditate for an hour, which is a long time. I've only done it about three times on a plane, but because I had the time there, I'm not stressed, I can do it, okay? However, realistically, I'm like, I wanna meditate every day. I picked a number, I started with five minutes. I went from five minutes up to six minutes. So I've been meditating for over a year now, and I'm only up to 15 minutes. I think I got to about 15 minutes in October, so I've still been a while. It's been like six months now of actually, or like, what is it, eight months, I'm meditating 15 minutes every day, but this is my sweet spot. I can't add more time because I just don't want to fucking do it. But that's realistic for me. So when you look at chunking your time down to a realistic amount that you want to fit things in on a daily basis that you can repeat, these actually become better habits too. If you're like, oh, I'm going to go for a, you know, a workout. Let's say you're like, oh, I can't work out for an hour a day. Okay, can you work out for 20 minutes a day? Because guess what? If you can work out for 20 minutes a day, every day, you're gonna get results, you know? And 20 minutes, you might just do 20 minute home bodyweight workout. Push-ups, sit-ups, uh, you know, chin-ups on a table if you can, or like, you know, um, underneath the table, a pull-ups type of thing, and that's all you do. Sweet, 20 minutes, bang, bang, bang. You make that a habit. So look at breaking things up instead of looking at how much time they can actually consume, and you might be more realistic about to get stuff done. So if any of you do any of this stuff, I would love to hear from you, so let me know. Uh, comment down below, send me a message on Instagram, Love to hear from you and see what things you chunk down on a daily basis that makes it more easier for you to stick to.